everyone, tonight I'm going to read your bedtime story for you. It's called I'm Not Sleepy by Jane Chapman and it's about a little baby owl who has trouble going to sleep at night. At bedtime, Grandma always carries Mo up to the top of the tree. It's a long way up for a little owlet, she puffed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Oh, she huffed. Sliding in down. Here we are. Grandma smoothed the soft leaves into a cosy nest and sat Mo carefully in the middle. Play with me, giggled Mo. No, sweetie, it's time to go to bed, said Grandma. She blew him a kiss and hopped back down to read her book. The stars were fading when Grandma heard a rustle in the leaves. Is that you, Mo? Yes, and I haven't had my bedtime biscuit, he said. Oh, the bedtime biscuit. How could I forget, thought Grandma. So she flew with a hop, jump, flutter and flump to the top of the tree. Grandma sat and waited for the bedtime biscuit to be finished. Mo smiled up at her. Play with me, he sniffed. No, honey bun, time to go to sleep, said Grandma. She blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. Good night. The last bats were going home when the leaves began to rain down from above. Mo, called Grandma, is everything okay? No, I'm not tucked in, he said. He's not tucked in, said Grandma. Oh, and off she went with a hop, jump, flutter and flump, right to the top of the tree. Grandma plumped and prodded, tucked and rolled until Mo, Mo looked like a wriggly green pancake. Play with me, he laughed. No, Pickle, it's bedtime, said Grandma. No more noises now. Unless it's an emergency. She blew him a kiss and popped down to read her book. Grandma sat in the stillness. It was quiet at last. She was just about to start reading when... Grandma! Grandma! It's an emergency! It's an emergency! Thought Mo, said Mo. Oh my goodness, said Grandma. What is it? What is it? What's the emergency? puffed Grandma. I'm not sleepy, said Mo. I don't want to go to bed. I want to play. Grandma squeezed into Mo's cosy nest next to him and gave him a big cuddle. The thing is, Mo, it's bedtime and at bedtime somebody has to go to bed. So, I have a very good idea. I'll go to bed, she said, and you can stay up. Yes, 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 said Mo. And you'll need fresh leaves and a bedtime biscuit and tucking in. And I can come up and give you a good night kiss. Mo was very busy. He didn't have time to play. It was hard work putting Grandma to bed. Hop, jump, flutter, flum. Hop, jump, flutter, flum. Hop, jump, flutter, flum. He went backwards and forwards. Most of the stars were gone when a little voice called up from below. Grandma, I'm really sleepy now, said Mo. Of course you are, Poppet. It's very late, said Grandma. And she hopped down, to, down the tree to her favourite owlet. On my back, she said. And with a hop, jump, flutter and flub, Grandma carried Mo all the way up to his nest the top of the tree. Grandma snuggled Mo down and folded the soft leaves over him. Time for bed, she smiled. Then Grandma smoothed Mo's feathers gently, blew him a kiss and hopped back down to the tree to her book. Good night, Mo, she said. The end. I hope you enjoyed our bedtime story tonight. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Bye!